वनकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जल प्रयाग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू कंप्लीट द क्वेश्चन वी स्टार्टेड इन डेज वर्क एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वी विल रन थ्रू द होल सीक्वेंस बिकॉज दिस दिस video will be as if i am doing the full question but i'm i'll not be repeating the calculations which we have already done i'm going to just quickly recap on the calculation but i'll give you the full sequence uh, you will see that uh, we are on the final stage of this same question uh, till last two uh, videos you would have uh, realized that i had not given you the initial position but right now i've given you the initial position which is your 4th november then the remaining part of the question is exactly the same uh, you will realize that we have already found out the cmg and dmg and now today our job is to find the fifth known position that is the next day's known position okay so i'm going to just quickly run through what we have done till now so that this video will become a full uh, complete solution but i will not be solving the initial part they are already there so i'll be just quickly brushing through and uh, the final stage of the question is finding the known position that is what i am going to do on this so with this part the whole uh, question is complete since this was the first question i had to break it into different parts so that people can understand easily uh, from next question onwards anyone does you can do it as a single stage that's it. you don't have to break up uh, we saw this question was uh, having a few legs then we broke them into uh, individual delight and departures that also we did then we made a table we found out that the total sailing is taking you delight south and departure west so we were on a southwesterly course so this is the resultant delight and resultant departure you have seen this also in the last class so what is the resultant distance resultant distance is called dmg and resultant course is called cmg this is what we had done uh, quickly on this page i am going to show you the values of the dmg and cmg also 306.8 and south 59.2 degrees west also so we have finished till here and that is what this picture shows which was the last slide of uh, the previous video so the whole triangle is complete as far as uh, the individual breakups had to be done i have finished now my final job is to find the next day noon position let us break them into two small pieces again i will first find latitude and then find longitude the initial lat and long was given and uh, we found out that the course effective course is 239.2 degrees true and 306.8 is the distance whenever somebody gives you a lat and long of initial position there are two things all i need to find the next day's position is one is d lat and another one is d long okay and let me start with the latitude because i already have partly the answer with me So our job is to find the final known position. I'm going to show you in the picture. I'm starting with an equator. We already have uh, alpha's latitude, forty-eight degrees fifty-two, which is quite high. Then we know already delight from the uh, calculations we already done. It is one five seven point three south, which is also converted into degrees and minutes as two degree thirty-seven point three. so that means your vessel sailed from that alpha's position on a southerly latitude so i'm just showing you with an arrow i'm going southerly direction with the amount equal to d lat i put this on my original latitude and i get an answer so this green color line is your final latitude so i have already got one answer which is your arrival latitude b's latitude okay so d lat was easy and i found out the final latitude let us go for the longitude longitude cannot be calculated directly from this triangle because we have something called departure so that means i have to convert the departure into d long so the formula for that is departure is equal to d long of cos theta in this i have departure from the previous triangle which is 263.4 i don't know d long and there's something called cos mean lat i don't know what is mean lat so i need to find mean lat Mean lat is nothing but both of them are in the same hemisphere, so uh, they are north and north. 
your uh, departure latitude and arrival latitude, I can simply do an algebraic sum. So when I put it, I get this answer as a mean lag as 47 degree, 33.4. So this is your mean lag. I'm going to use this mean lag in the departure formula. So it's exactly the same thing now. This time my job is to find D long and apply it to my initial longitude, which is your mark with the blue at alpha 0.69.14.7. So let me put this in the formula and I get an answer called 390.3 minutes. Convert that into degrees and minutes. I get six degree, 30.3 west. So that means I'm on a westerly D long. So I'm going to apply this using my same polar diagram. This is your North Pole. I'm drawing the Greenwich Meridian, then the ideal, which is 180 degree opposite. And we have already seen this in old videos. Let me start off from this. This is my alpha's longitude, 069, approximately at alpha. Whenever I travel like this, it is called westerly. Whenever I travel like this, it is called easterly. And you can say D long is western. So when you apply it on my original longitude, that means I should go in this direction and I will arrive at Bravo. And the answer is 062 degrees 44.4 east. We are still in the eastern longitude. So I'm just summarizing the final answer. This is the answer I wanted. So I've got my final position. I'm going to quickly show you what uh, we have achieved in this full question. Let us see. This diagram was already shown to you. Let me start off. We started with a departure latitude and longitude, which was 48.52 and the longitude. We started from here. When we calculated the resultant, we knew I'm going to travel southerly by a DLAT value. Then westerly we have departure value. Okay. And then we calculated what was the resultant force, then what was the resultant distance. And by applying all this, finally I found out what was the resultant position, which is your known position. So that that is the end of this uh, whole sequence of problem. Uh, since I made the whole full solution in one video on this particular episode, I hope. Uh, it's easy for you to uh, realize what we have done. So that was a case of a day's work. Um, most of the questions are somewhat similar, but please remember there are always some conditions put on. So the next video, what I'm going to make will be based on what conditions is put on in your question. Question will not be so simple. So when these conditions are put, how do you go and solve with uh, the problem. That is what I'm going to do in the next slide. There are various conditions, approximately around 10 conditions are there possible. So those, uh, those conditions will be put. I'll brief you how to uh, use those conditions and solve your problem. Okay. So uh, I hope uh, the whole sequence was easy. Uh, as I said, my reason for breaking them into three parts was to give you part by part so that you don't have any Anyway, keep watching Jal Prayag. Until then, uh, Wanakam, Namaste, Namaskar. I'll catch you soon with the next one, which talks about these various conditions.